Hey Lars, I want to thank you for your excellent videos. Thank you so much for watching, Chuck. Um, so this one here is, I have a large assembly drawing of a small lathe. Now when you say small assembly drawing, that makes you thinking a part file, not a 2D drawing. I hope, I hope that's right. Uh, we're going to assume that it's a large assembly file. Um, and I'm bringing it in from another, uh, another program like SolidWorks. And I'm finding that when I'm bringing the different files in, they're not aligned with each other. Uh, so the question is, um, it's very difficult to align, or is the best way to do this? So let's talk a little bit about um, aligning here. I think this is a good, good, good tip. Um, is my microphone picking up the crazy rain? Maybe not. Whatever. Um, I'm going to create two components. We're going to make this a little symbol. A new two different components, right click. So we think we have an assembly with all different kinds of components in here. Let's make the first one active. Let's sketch something. Let's sketch C for circle on this one here. Hit Q and just extrude something out. There is component number one. Uh, let's make component number two active. Let's get something completely different over here to the side. Like this, extrude that up like that. So we have two different components coming in here. Um, now remember that components are just floating around. So if you're bringing in a file from another software, and this is one of the things that's important to understand is that if you're bringing in um, a SOLIDWORKS file, for example, into Fusion 360, what you absolutely can do um, in your tree here, you can just go and say upload. And, uh, and you, if you select a file, you can select all these different forms, including SOLIDWORKS and other file formats. But when you're doing that, um, Fusion actually don't uh, get all the, um, Fusion don't get all the mates that is inside the SOLIDWORKS file. SOLIDWORKS don't let that go with it. Um, SOLIDWORKS holds on to that to themselves. It's not really Fusion's fault. It's just that's not brought over. Um, there's a couple of tools you should know about. Um, oh, there's Thunder. Um, <laughs> if we lose, if we're done, then we're done, right? Uh, but one thing I like to do is you should always um, fix one. And I like to right click and ground one of them. So I'm just going to do um, continue here. Uh, that gives it that little thumbtack right there. Uh, so you can see that that one is locked down. Uh, the first component is locked down. That is locked down in space. Now that one will not move. I can't drag around. This one will move. And that, when we drag things around, that's when we get these two things up here, kept to position or not kept to position. If you say revert, it goes back to wherever you was. So if you move over here, revert back. But you can actually move over here and you can capture the position now it will stay give you that little icon down there but they are still moving around so you could actually capture positions but well, this can actually be kind of handy because now if I move back it remembers this where we were I'm just saying that can be handful a hand, um, handful to have I'm going to delete them all um, there's two ways you can align these components when they're in there if you just want to align them um, from, from a standpoint, there is actually an align tool inside of Fusion that many people don't know. I don't use it very often because what it will do is it will just really align them. If I select it and we hit the component we want to do, you will see that it kind of picks up some aligning points. See that? It picks up the aligning points. If you hold down control, it will be locked to that face. I'm holding down control right now. If I don't hold down control, it would actually try to figure out what I'm aligning against. But what I can do is I can say, I want to align this, let's do this corner here with this center here. Boom. And they get aligned. Now you can flip the direction. You can change the angle on over here in the menu. But that will actually make them go align. I hit OK. But you will see that nothing happened in my history tree. The align tool is just that, is to align some components, but you guessed it, it hasn't fixed anything. It's just aligning them. 
So this is a good way um, if you get your lathe in, there's multiple parts and you kind of like want them, just line them up, like so they look right. A line is perfect, but it's not attaching them. For that, we will use the joint tool um, in that. And remember, if I just, if we just go backwards, where it's original position, that the joint tool up here is, I like it better than I like mates in SolidWorks. For any of you SolidWorks users out there, I'll argue with you all day long. I use SolidWorks for uh, for, for, for many, many, many years. Um, but the joint tool is a little different in the sense that it kind of does the same thing, right? See how it's picking up different areas over here. So if we hold down control again, we lock it into that face and I select this face and then I go and select this face. Now this is where, where software users get a little bit confused, but what is happening here is in SOLIDWORKS, we do refrigerator magnets. We do, uh, we align things by doing two faces together and then they can rotate. Then we select another mate to put two edges together. Now it can only rotate, it can, it can go up and down. And then we add a third mate and then it's finally locked down. We're removing the six degrees of freedom by doing that. Refrigerator magnets. Two here, then we lock it down to other one, down to, right? Fusion does it different. Fusion removes all six degrees of freedom first. First. And then, when it have done that, then that's rigid. But now we could actually start playing around with releasing some of those um, degrees of freedom. Okay? So if you're not familiar with, if this confuses you as a new Fusion user coming from another CAD software, I've done a few videos on the joint command. Go and switch those out. So, to answer your question again, Chuck, the align tool is great to align everything up. The joint tool, that's the way to place it in place. So, on your mini lathe, when you bring it in, get the chart located with the joint command and then release the rotation and get the rotation on it. So, then you can kind of release everything up there. Hope that was useful. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. That's okay if you don't. Love the comments. Put the comments in. As thunder is hammering around here in upstate, well, western New York, I should say, here outside Buffalo. Hope that was useful. Next one. Next one is from Michael.